Good morning, everyone. I just want to share this Paris themed loaded envelope using Prima's Love Story paper. This is an accordion style fan, um, file folder loaded envelope. It does have the support here in the center uh, to prevent it from collapsing. This is the back side, and we have a little Eiffel Tower themed charm right here. I'm just going to move this all the way around so you can see that. This is based on Robin Pitt's. Mother's Day file folder that she made and although she didn't give any instructions it is easy enough to follow what she had done if you watch her video and I will definitely link that um, in my show more below. So if we get started here again um, Prima's love story. So I have a doily in the back here. I've just learned some tatting so I wanted to use some tatting on her project for Carrie and this is going to my friend Carrie who sent me her um, graphic 45 botanical a couple weeks ago so she got hers right out and um, mine's going out today this is a two colored satin um, shabby flower here and the edges are melted in the, the heat of the flame there's multiple videos online and I'll link the one that I use there and then some bling in the center so it is just so so pretty and very feminine and shabby there is a little tag right here that says made especially for you and then we have a triple layer um, com crafter's companion butterfly set here that's stacked and then it's on some um, cheesecloth that's pink and I have some natural light coming in behind me so it's kind of altering the colors here and I apologize for that it was fine earlier while it was darker out um, so just want to leave that like that okay so if we start unpocketing this I have a spool with some more of the pink trim that's used at the bottom of the front here. And I'm going to push this back a little bit. Um, so I have three tags that so was part of the requirements as well as two cards and a wand. So the first one is using paper in the paper line with the birds in the bird cage. There is some lace and some trim down here. Um, there's a triple loop bow with two more of the butterflies at the top and again very pretty. I love the filigree in these butterflies and I've used them a lot throughout this project. Uh, the second tag is you well using the same paper, it's actually from the same page I believe and then this is like the bottom corner of it. Um, I have multiple doilies throughout the project too from Our Daily Bread. I am going to show you those dies that I used and then also the Itty Bitty Flowers is also from uh, our daily bread and then so let me show you a close-up there oh hopefully there we go so uh, there's little pearls in the center the greenery also comes with that set of dies this is a double-sided uh, paper and then I also put a second matching die on the back just to give it some strength I'm really hoping that these points won't get ruined during shipping today when they go to carry third tag is a shadow box of the vintage lady um, it's just supported the top paper is supported with foam tape and then there's some more pearl trim at the bottom a bow here at the top and she can either use this as a tag or even as a, a card front if she chose to there are some keys from Michaels we all love keys right and then here are the two cards so the first card says be your own kind of beautiful this is paper from the paper line. I had the stamp and then I used lace on the on the edge as a border. Blank inside so she can use them as she chooses. This envelope paper is not from the paper line. This is just from one of the local scrapbook stores and or craft stores actually. But anyways, so this paper is my favorite of the entire line. It is so pretty with the pink roses. It says love is friendship set to music and um I just love this so she can use those that takes care of the front pocket I'll try to be careful of the glare on these packages this is a package of two more of the satin flowers in the champagne color with the bling centers and little flowers from Hobby Lobby at the top for the package decoration there's that and as usual in all of my projects I love using um, deck or napkins to decoupage tracing paper envelopes so I did make this myself I make the tracing paper envelopes based on the size of either what I need or what the uh, the pattern is on the napkins so originally I was for Carrie I was going to use the Stamperia fantasy 
paper line when I got the paper pack. Um, when I got the pack though, in the mail, I just really wasn't feeling it. Um, it wasn't as shabby, I guess, as I wanted. I love this paper, but it wasn't gonna be for this project after all. So let me just show you. This is the 12 square page um, that you just cut apart. And this, that's what I did is I've given her all 12 images on the sheet of paper. So it says, a single dream is more powerful than a thousand realities. There's butterflies and roses. There's a unicorn um, pretty much on every page. There's a fairy with a butterfly, butterfly and the lilacs and the roses. I just love every one of these images. And then the dragonfly, of course, some more roses. And then this says, creativity is the greatest expression of liberty. Love these. So this is a Stamperia fantasy line again. Um, I hope she can use these and I, I hope to see what she makes with them. Another package up here is just a rose set with some lace and a piece of paper from, or an image from the, the paper collection. This says, wishing you a day that sparkles and I hope that her day does sparkle. Inside is a spool with some lace and a stick pin that I am re-gifting that I was given. It's just to hold that together. Again, double-sided paper and beautiful rose images if you haven't seen the, the paper line. Well, I will get that in a second. Okay, so that takes care of that. Here is our wand. It is a shabby wand. Um, there are three different flower type um, things. One is, so this is a shabby cotton flower. I just learned how to do that the other night. Um, I love this and plan on making more of these. There is a flat lace, uh, basically disc, a round disc, and then there's a loopy flower. These are all loops. And I will link the videos that I use to learn how to make these. So there is pink and white lace at the bottom. There is the seed bead trim, um, just to add some dangles to that. On the back side is a, another doily. And the charm says, made with love. Right there, made with love. And it definitely was. I'm very happy to make this for, for Carrie, and I hope she loves this wand as much as I do. So inside of this, I even put some ribbon down inside there, if you can see, just to hold, um, hold this wand in place. It tends to spin, but at least it won't fall. So there is lace behind here. I put the ribbon there. Again, on this side, we have the Eiffel Tower as a hanging dangle. And then on the back, we'll get to these. Here's another spool. I used sponge sugar distressed ink um, to dye, I don't know, it's coming up pretty light there, um, to dye some seam binding for Carrie. Here is a purse charm on one of those pins and another little bow at the top there. So that is that. And then another one of the doilies with a butterfly punch and little pearl. So inside here is the little dome shaped baubles buttons, they are buttons, they have shanks on them from Joann's in the Pink Butterflies by Lamode. And I love these, they make great paper clips, although I didn't make one for this project. That's what I have used them for and I've given them to other people in swaps. Um, so I'll put that aside here. Another package here has lace and it says Made with Love, that's using a new stamp that I just bought. And then uh, Prima flowers. I took it out of the original packaging just because it was too bulky to fit in here along with the other packages that I had. So these are roses from Hobby Lobby that are all glittered up in multiple colors and Carrie loves Prima. I know that for a fact. This envelope is not decorated but we have some Tim Holtz ephemera and um, I love I love ephemera pieces for my projects. So this is almost like a secret pocket back here. Let me show what's in it and then I'll describe the actual loaded envelope. I am sending her three tatted little doily thingies here um, to use in her projects. Again, I am not an expert. I just started tatting a couple weeks ago, but I definitely wanted to um, share some with her. And I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out so she can use these in her projects. And if she finds any little whoops, then she can just go ahead and cover those up. And I'm dropping things all over the place here. I have another set of the three stacking butterflies, uh, again from Crafter's Companion. Uh, two of the pattern papers and then the middle one is like that shell pink just to break up the patterns of the paper. Here are three of the doilies, again that could be stacking. I love this paper. I love that paper, I love that die. 
um, so she can use all three or use them individually however she would like. And then when I was at the scrapbooking expo in Syracuse last month, my main goal was to buy as many doily dies as possible and I think I accomplished that. This is a set of three from Spellbinders. I didn't have this before. I was able to get it on clearance also and I love this. Um, when you use it on cardstock it just provides a very heavy um, solid feel doily. This one is not too filigree like the other ones are but they're very pretty. I was even um, lucky enough to get them on clearance which made it even that much better. So I'm going to move these off to the side here and then we're going to show you the loaded envelope and the, our daily bread uh, dies. So when you make this V as your back pocket, if you only glue it on the three sides and not at the top, you get a, a fourth pocket up there. And then you have the, the main pocket in the back here. This is punched, border punched with the Martha Stewart doily punch. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. Sorry about that. There we go. And then I also have another tattered rose seam binding ribbon up here. There are two pockets in the front. So this is the full width of the paper from Hobby Lobby. So it's an eight and a half, um, I think by 11 pad. Maybe it's the 11 and a half, I'm not sure. Pad of paper, so it's the same width. And I think that the top height here is six and a half or seven, I can't remember. And then I put the gussets in the sides and then did the fan fold for the support in the back so it doesn't splay out too much. So that is how that is put together. Again, there's a picture of that front flower, which I love so much. And then the wand, we'll put the wand back in here. And see, there it spins. Anyway, there we go. And I hope you like this project. Feel free to hit subscribe for me and watch other uploads that we have. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and I take that back. I was going to definitely share, I'm sorry. It's definitely going to share the Our Daily Bread filigree circles. So one is filigree circles and the other one is fancy circles. I want to get this nice and close so that you can see that. And then on the back side, here are the dies themselves and um, what they look like. <coughs> I apologize, I'm sorry. I love this die right here with the points and that's what I've used multiple times throughout the, the project um, on here. And then I actually have, let's see, I've got this one. I've got multiple. I've, I've used a lot of these in here. This large one is this right here. So that's how big that was. And that's, that's this outer one there. So anyway, again, so I use the filigree circles and I also use the itty bitty flowers um, for the tag. So now, now I'm all set. So thanks and have a great day. Please feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.